Well, today is the feast day of the Holy Trinity. And it's a good time on this feast day to reflect on what it means to have faith. You see, according to the first letter of St. John, it is written, God is love. And when we think about God as being love, one God, three persons and one God, God the Father's love for the Son is infinite. God's love of the Son for the Father is infinite. That's a whole lot of love. And the Son and the Father have been together in one God since the very beginning of all things. Read the first chapter of the Gospel of St. John from the very beginning. But the Father does not keep all the love of the Son, nor does the Son keep all the love of the Father. It flows from them both. There's an outflowing of all this love. And that outflowing of love from the Father and the Son is the Holy Spirit. We say it in the Creed every time. The Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. Well, that's what we're talking about. This overwhelming force of creative love. And it creates all things. The very first verse of the Bible is the Spirit of God moves upon the darkness. The very beginning of all creation, of all things. For love is a very powerful and creative force. And it's that love that we receive when we are baptized, when we receive communion. We receive the God who is love. And we return that love to God. We thank God for that love. And we love God because God has loved us. But just like the love of the Father does not keep the love of the Son, how the Son just keeps the love of the Father, it overflows to others, so too must our love outflow to others. The love that God gives us and the love that we return to God outflows to others as well. Because our relationship with God is a threesome. It has to be. Because God outpours his love to all of us, then we, in our relationship with God, have to in turn outpour our love to others. Family, people in need, the lowly, the sad, the hungry. We have to outflow our love to them. And it is in that outflowing of love that we truly grow in faith. It's not enough just to say, I accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior, and I am saved. That's the beginning of the relationship. But it is not the end. Far from it. Because St. James tells us clearly, and so does the parable of the sheep and the goats, tells it very clearly that our actions are crucial. Do we earn our salvation by those actions? In no way. But do we make our faith live? Does our faith become alive when we act upon our faith? Absolutely. For we are following the same model as the Trinity itself. Because we are in a Trinitarian relationship with God, we are compelled to share that love with others through the good works that we do.